Jalom Israel, Most High in Christ Blessed. This is Captain Amaziah, 15 minutes with the captains. With me I have Officer Yuri. Shalom. Today's topic, today's topic, we are going over the covenant of our forefathers, the covenant of promise, okay? Let's get started. In other words, the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's get started. Give me the definition of a covenant. The Co definition of covenant. Covenant, an agreement usually formal between two or more persons to do or not to do something. So that's the definition of a covenant, an agreement between two or two persons or two parties. Okay, anything else? There's another definition? The third definition. Go ahead. A solemn agreement. A solemn agreement between the members of a church to act together in harmony with the precepts of the gospel. Oh, you see that? That's what I wanted right there. So let's get into it. Second Ezra 6 and 54. We're going to start right there. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 54. And after these, Adam also. So we're going to start with Adam, the first man. Read. Whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Uh -huh. Of him come we all. Read. And the people and also. And the people. Not only all, but and. Meaning there's a separation now. And. The people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did he choose? The Israelites. They come out of Adam as everybody else does. Genesis 4 and 1. Let's start right there. Genesis chapter 4 verse 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, uh -huh. and she conceived uh -huh. and bare Cain and said. So now you got Cain. Read. I have gotten a man from the Lord. Read. And she again bare his brother Abel. So he had Cain and Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Read. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Read. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought, all, brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. So there was offering way back then. They were sacrificing way back then. I want to keep that in mind. Read. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. Read. And the Lord had respect unto Abel. Because Abel was listening. Abel kept the, the, the correct sacrifice. Read. And to his offering. Read. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. Genesis 5 and 1. Genesis chapter 5 verse 1. This is the book. So of we all know the story. Cain kills Abel now. Read. This is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that God created man. Remember, and one other thing, Cain got put out. So the Lord ain't dealing with Cain or his line. So now let's see what happens now. We're going to read all the way to nine. In the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them. So all men was called Adam on the earth. All, all the, the race was called Adam. Read. And called their name Adam. Read. In the day when they were created. Read. And Adam lived in 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness. And after his image and called his name Seth. So now we're dealing with the line of Seth. Read. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years and he begat sons and daughters. So I want you to notice something. He also had other sons and daughter, but never mentioned them. Only Seth. Read. Verse 5. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Read. And Seth lived in 105 years, and begat Enos. So Seth begat Enos. That's the one man mentioned. Read. And Seth lived after he begat Enos 807 years, and begat sons and daughters. Notice that once again, they only mentioned Enos out of all the sons and daughters that he had. Read. And all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. Read. And Enos lived 90 years and begat Canaan. Jump to Genesis 6 and 8. Genesis chapter 6, verse 8. But Noah found so grace. So now, when you read the rest of the chapter, it gets to Noah. Now we're on Noah. What happened with Noah? But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Read. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. <laughs> And Noah walked with God. And Noah walked with God. What verse is that? Verse 9. Read. Verse 10. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now we get into Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Verse 17 to 18. Verse 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life uh -huh. from, from under heaven. Uh -huh. And everything that is in the earth shall die. So, Mosai is telling Noah, I'm killing everything on there. For the wickedness of man, I'm killing everything moving by water. Go ahead. Verse 18. But with thee. But with, with you, will Noah. I, excuse me. Will I establish my covenant. With you, I'm going to establish a covenant with you, Noah. Read. And thou shalt come into the ark. 
thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives with thee. Genesis, Gen Genesis 9 and 19. Genesis chapter 9, verse 19. Now we know the story. Everything dies on earth but Noah, his, Noah and his three sons and their four wives. Go ahead. These, these people. Go ahead. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. Read. Jump to verse 24 to 26. Verse 24. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son Remember, had done. Noah was drunk. He was naked and drunk. Go ahead. And knew what his younger son had done unto his, him. His younger son Ham looked on his nakedness. So guess what? The law was back then. They knew the law back then. Read. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. Noah says, Cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. Read. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Of who? Of Shem. Of who? Of Shem. So guess what Noah's telling everybody? The next line is the, the covenant is with Shem. It's not just Ham, Shem, and Japheth. But guess what? It's only with Shem. Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Read. And Canaan shall be his servant. Jump to Genesis 11, verse 11 through 17. Genesis chapter 11, verse 11. And Shem lived after he begat Arphaxad 500 years and begat sons and daughters. Keep reading. And Arphaxad lived five and 30 years and begat Salah. And Arphaxad lived after he begat Salah 400 and th 403 years. Jump to 15. Verse 15. To 17. And Salah lived after he begat Eber uh -huh. 403 years uh -huh. and begat sons and daughters. Uh -huh. And Eber lived four and 30 years and begat Pele. And Eber lived after he begat Pele 430 years and begat sons and daughters. Jump to verse 26. Verse 26. And Terah lived 70 years and begat Abram. Terah begat Abram. Nahor and Haran. Read. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram. Terah begat Abram. Jump to Genesis 12 and 1. Now let's get into the meat. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. Now the Lord has said unto Abram. Get thee out of thy country. Get up out of there, Abraham. And from thy kindred. Uh -huh. And from thy father's house. Get away from your father's house because they're worshiping idols. Read. Unto a land that I will show thee. I'm going to show you a new land. Read. And I will make of thee a great nation. Uh -huh. And I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. This is the covenant now. I'm going to make you a great nation, Abraham. Let's see how. Jump to Genesis 15 and 18. Genesis chapter 15, verse 18. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, what? Unto thy seed. Unto your seed, Abram. Have I given this land from the river of Egypt. The river of Egypt. Unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Read on. The Kenites, and the Kenizzites, and the Kadmonites, and the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Rephaim, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. And the Jebusites. So all these Canaanites, all these other nations were living in the land that the Most High said, I'm going to give it to your seed. This is the covenant, brothers and sisters. Genesis 22 and 17. Let's see what else is in that covenant besides land. Genesis chapter 22, verse 17. That in blessing, I will bless thee. I'm going to bless you, Abraham. And in multiplying. I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the I'm heaven. I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, Abraham. And as the sand which is upon the seashore. Uh -huh. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. That's those nations we just named, brothers and sisters, in that land there. Let's go to Genesis 17 and 10. Genesis chapter 17, verse 10. This is my covenant, which he shall keep. Between me and you, uh -huh. and thy seed after thee. Uh -huh. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. Every man, this is a part of the covenant now. Every man child among you, Abraham, must be circumcised. Go to Genesis 17 and verse 19 through 21. Verse 19. And God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Isaac. So now we're getting specific now. The main son, Isaac. Who, who was first? Ishmael was first. Then came who? Isaac. Read. And I will establish my covenant with him. I'm going to establish my covenant with him. What is this covenant? By promise. Not by law. By promise. Not by sacrifice, but by promise. Read. For an everlasting covenant. See that, brother and sister? It's an everlasting covenant. Read. And with his seed after him. Read. And, and after what? 
and with his seed after him. So guess what? Didn't we just hear the same thing about his seed with Abraham, that your seed is going to inherit that land? But he's not talking about, wait, let's keep reading. Let's see who he's not talking about. Verse 20. And as for Ishmael. Ishmael was the firstborn brothers and sisters by the bondwoman Hagar. I have heard thee. Uh -huh. Behold, I have blessed him uh -huh. and will make him fruitful. Make him fruitful. And will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation. The Arabs are a great nation today. They got oil. They got land. Read. But, however, my covenant will I establish with Isaac. That everlasting covenant, meaning it's a covenant of promise. It has to be fulfilled. He's going to keep it with Isaac. Ishmael is not under this covenant, even though he's a son of Abraham. Read. Which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. Genesis 28 and 13. So now let's see who else is under that covenant of promise. Genesis chapter 28, verse 13. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. Who is he talking to? Jacob. Read. The land whereon thou liest. The land which you lying on, Jacob. To thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And to your seed. So wait a minute. Isaac had Esau and Jacob. So Esau is pushed out of the covenant now. Esau's not under this covenant of promise. So let's keep reading. Verse 14. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. So who is he talking about? The Israelites. Who comes out of Jacob? The Israelites. Read. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west uh -huh. and to the east uh -huh. and to the north uh -huh. and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And you shall all the seed of the earth be blessed. Go back to Genesis 17 and verse 5 now. Genesis chapter 17. Because usually that, that, that a lot of people say, oh, that means everybody's blessed. Everybody's under this covenant. Let's see what the Bible says. Genesis chapter 17 verse 5. Neither shall thy name anymore be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. But your name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. A what? A father of many nations. No, a father of all nations. A father of many nations. No, a father of every nation. Many nations. I got a question for you, brothers and sisters. Did all nations come out of Abraham's seed? Uh, is all nations Abraham's seed? No. He is not Japhetic. They come before Abraham. He is not Hamitic. They come before Abraham. He is a Shemite. That's why Noah said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Now, Leviticus 26 and 40. We're going to read through 45. So, here goes the promises to Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob, and to Jacob's seed after. Who's that seed? The Israelites, brothers and sisters. Let's go. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 40. If they shall confess their iniquity. So who is this talking about? The Israelites. Who can commit sin? The Israelites. If they confess after they break the law. Read. And, and the iniquity of their fathers. Read. With their trespass which they have trespassed against me. Uh-huh. And that also they have walked contrary unto me. Read. And that I also have walked contrary unto them. Read. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. Read. If then. Their uncircumcised hearts be humble, uh -huh. and, they, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. Then will after I after that, after they confess their sin and repent, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, uh -huh. and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham. Uh -huh. Will I remember, and I will remember the land. That's how you remember the land by repenting and getting the kingdom. That's what it's all about—the kingdom. Read on. The land also shall be left of them and shall enjoy her Sabbaths while she... Jump to 44. Verse 44. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies... Like we are today through the transatlantic slave trade, through, through scattered through many slave trades, read. I will not cast them away. Why can't the Most High God cast the Israelites away? Because of the promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that their seed would inherit the land and rule the earth. That's why the Most High God cannot throw us away because of the promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We broke our promise 
But there's still a promise for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that has to be fulfilled, brothers and sisters. Read on. Neither will I abhor them uh -huh. to destroy them utterly uh -huh. and to break my covenant with them. To do what? To break my covenant with them. Read on. For I am the Lord their God. Read on. But I will for their sakes. I will for their sakes. Remember the covenant of their ancestors. Uh -huh. Who I brought forth out of the land of Egypt uh -huh. in the sight of the heathen that I might be their God. I am the Lord. Acts 3.25. So, since we broke our covenant, brothers and sisters, there was still a covenant with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, by promise. We broke our covenant of animal sacrifice by law. That we would, we, we, our, our covenant was we would keep the law. That was the Israelites' covenant. The covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is that their seed, the Israelites, would inherit the earth. Since we broke it, what had to happen? Most like God had to send Christ to die and redeem the Israelites to keep the promise. Acts 3.25. Acts chapter 3 verse 25. Ye are the children of the prophets. Uh-oh. The Israelites are the children of the pro prophets. And they of, were all Israelites. Read. And of the covenant which God made with our fathers. See that? So we are the children of the, of the, of the, of what? The covenant. Of the covenant. Which God made with our fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Saying unto Abraham. Uh -huh. And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. So is the Israelites scattered in all nations by the Atlantic slave trade? By the sub-Saharan slave trade? Yes. So what is this talking about? All kindreds of the earth are going to be blessed. Read on. Verse 26. Unto you first, God. Having raised up his son, Jesus. God had to raise up Christ to do what? Sent him. Sent Christ. To bless you. To bless you Israelites. In turning away every one of you from his iniquity. See that? So Christ had to die to redeem the Israelites because the Israelites committed the sin. To do what? To keep the promise that he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that this seed will inherit that land. Now, let's go to Sirach 44, 19 and wrap up. Ecclesiastes chapter 44 verse 19 Abraham was a great father of many people so Here we go with Abraham once again In glory was there none like unto him uh -huh. Who kept the law of the most high He kept the law And was in covenant with him uh -huh. He established the covenant in his flesh And when he was proved that's, that's circumcision And when he was proved he was found faithful He was found faithful Read on Verse 22 Verse 22 With Isaac Now we will skip from Abraham, now we're going to Isaac. The covenant fell to Isaac. Did he establish likewise? With Isaac, he established likewise. For Abraham, his father's sake, the blessing of all men. The blessing of all Israelite men. And the covenant. And the covenant. And made it rest upon the head of Jacob. And then after Isaac, they, he dismissed Esau and it went to Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing. Uh -huh. And gave him inheritance. And divided his portions uh -huh. among the twelve tribes, did he part them. All praise to the Most High, brothers and sisters. So what are we proving? The covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob by promise belongs to the twelve tribes of Israel right. and no one else. And with that, we say shalom. Shalom. Don't you got a party to go to? Overpass, pass around, around the loop, around there, or something like that? What the hell, man? Don't you got a party you gotta go to? Say something, son. Need y'all by 12. Big body sumo flow. If you bout show crown. Kudos though, baby rap yo, town is the Uno Dos, Uno Dos, that is the Uno Dos, one, two, one, two. Hey Siri, how's the traffic? Here's the traffic.
traffic. <laughs> Two hours? There's not even that many damn cars out here. What the hell's going on? jump out of the spirit missing the high holy days just isn't as fun as you thought it'd be what do you think? the is pretty lame I've seen better hey there I'm Solomon rapper father husband and prophet I've personally never missed the Passover but I've had quite a few run-ins with those who have. I'll be honest with you, man. I uh, I miss Passover because I was too scared to ask my boss for the time off, and uh, I regret it. I, mean, I regret it. Me and a team of courageous young talent have developed a new one-step program. You want to know what that program is, don't you? Introducing in the spirit. Get started today. It's easy. Just call. 1-800-PASSOVER. We have a history of taking our clients from slothful as a slugger to all the way in the spirit. Is that Israel with them? Why or not? All right, make sure you ask your boss for that time off now. Oh, no, sis. No need to cry. Yeah, you're good. Just make sure you get all of the leaven out of your house before you come to Atlanta. I was out the spirit. But I call 1-800-PASSOVER, now we in the spirit. Lord's will, I see you there. Warning, this commercial was intended for comedic purposes only. Please do not call the phone number. It is not real. Passover is approaching, and we hope this helps get you in the spirit. Say that I'm a Jew with sound art. 
for years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more It's our black man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.